What's up, y'all? Up next is Gritlock. Easily a top five map. I think it's the most balanced map on the game that has power weapons. Maybe War Machine. Both of them is the same thing, you know. Equal spawns to the power weapon. Nobody spawns close to a, a particular power weapon. Jacinto is uh, really balanced. That's why people don't mind playing it because it's a it's a balanced map. A lot of these maps, they have the people epic design these maps flawlessly when it comes to balancing the distance that both teams have to travel to get to the map. Now what they messed up at is hill design. Alright. In Annex the Annex heals for gridlock uh, in grenade, torque bow, boom shot, each pistol. Which is where it should have been is just in grenade, torque bow, and boom shot because Everyone should have the uh, equal spawn to each year. It shouldn't just be for power weapons. Which, at least they got the power weapon thing right. But I'm glad that they got that right because it'll be a pain in the ass if one team could constantly spawn close to each power. But I don't think on any map that any team gets close spawn to a weapon. But Gridlock is a top five map. It's easy. It's not that big. It's it's big enough. And if my um. Cap card is lagging. I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe I had something running on my computer or whatnot. I know I got host on this game and <laughs> host this cheese. Host is so easy. I don't, you don't even have to try when you host. Every shot lands. Every hammer burst bullet lands if you're on target. You put a player, a player of my skill or, or people I, I have their skill. With host in, it's it's not it's not fair. But the strategy is for gridlock. The strategy for gridlock before boom shot was was nerfed was you had to control boom. Look, somebody already quit. Why do y'all quit still? Title of day six changed it to where if you quit. You still get your deaths, your kills, and you get the loss. So you're not saving your stats anymore. You're still getting every kill and every death. But anyway, the strategy for gridlock used to be to control the boom shot, which is still you still have to have some semblance of control over boom. But the most important weapon is the torque because the torque has five shots, and you put torque in somebody's hand like church aka the crazy drunk or uh, Harry or um Blanco somebody that's just stupid with the torque bow then you're gonna be in a fucking world of, world of hurt and uh boom anybody can use it hell yeah. my baby sister can get this game and pick up boom shot and get two kills but strategies for this you wanna do like you wanna do every night you want to keep players at a distance. At least that's what I do. I want to keep players at a distance. I don't mind going in shotgun battle, but my goal is not to hate dying. And I want to keep you at a, far, uh, a, a big distance. So that's why, I, especially on host. On host, if you don't have a burst on host, you're retarded. Because the hammer burst on host is the best gun on the game. It's the best gun on the game anyway, but with host, it is not fair. You. If you have a burst on host, you shouldn't die more than once or twice. Unless you're playing against a good team. And then you still should easily you should be able to dominate those guys. And another thing, when you have a burst, don't try to take all the kills. Give away the kill. You'll see me. Um, maybe not so much this match. But uh the match that the last match I'm gonna post, the next one I'm gonna commentate, the one on ruins, I give away a lot of kills on that map. And I still get like 20, 25 hours host. Because I'm not running down there to get a kill that my teammate is already right by. That's stupid and it's selfish. 
and all that's gonna do is end up getting both of y'all killed because if they spawn right on you then you're, you're screwed because they have immunity but the basic strategy of this map is to control boom shot and control torque ball. That's any map that has power weapon. This map is one of my top five maps. Pavilion is number two. Avalanche is number one because it has no power weapon. Nothing but mortar. And mortar really isn't a big factor, especially now because it only has three shots. And it's easily avoidable if you have any common knowledge of how to play the game or any common sense, period. But. What, else, what I want to talk about. Um, Gears of War 2. I'm having fun playing the game again. I ain't gonna lie. Got my internet fixed. Playing with people I, uh, you know, I normally play with. I wish some, uh, I never see, I probably, um, see I gave away that kill, but Rubes, I never catch him online. You know, he's in school, he's playing football and whatnot. He's, Way younger than me, I think. Ooh, maybe 16, 17. You know, so I get, I get to play late at night. Not lately because I have morning classes. I was stupid. I've chose morning classes this semester. I usually don't pick morning classes, but I did. But I haven't been seeing them lately. But and uh, God's gift, I don't see him anymore either. Now watch this precision shoot right in the face. I it, all it takes is like four shots from Hammerverse to the face. Three, three or four shots, special action. And that's what you do. You don't execute. When you see a boss shooting at you, man, you pick up that, uh, you pick up a Misha and you, you try to get rid of them that way. You do not want to go Helmers versus Lancer against a bot because they they got 100% auto aim and they're shooting you right in the face because they aim at the head. Now, the boss that we played today, I don't know when they fixed the melee that they tweaked the boss because the boss that we played against today, they weren't that good. They weren't that great. So maybe they've been um they listened to the complaints. That's what they that's I gotta give Epic credit. They they listen to the complaints pretty well. And they'll try to fix it. If they see that something is not balanced in the game, if they see how they were punishing um punishing the player, they punishing the people that stay in games and they rewarding the other team when somebody quit with these old power bots. So they fix they balanced it. Which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. You don't don't punish us for staying in matches or being good at the game and making the other team quit because they're raging nerds or whatever. See, I could have executed him, but he'd have had to jump on me with that last. Now this dude right here, he just missed because I don't know. It took when you when a missile explodes, it takes like two seconds for you to be able to shoot. I don't know what that is. I guess there's being uh, another way of balancing the meat shields, being fair or whatnot. But they kept bringing me full helm burst, and when I get a full helm burst, I don't die. As you can see, they kept bringing me helm burst to the heel. And that's the weakness of the helm burst right there. But they kept bringing me helm burst to the heel, and I'm not going to die when I have, especially when I got host, when you give me helm burst. Like Slides got on his uh, motto helm burst is greater than shotgun, and it is. I only lost one match with him ever, and it was kind of my fault because I hadn't played the game in like three weeks. I was still mad at it because of all the bullshit, so I was resting. We ran into a good team, but that's the only match I ever lost, man. We probably 500 and oh, me, Slides, and me, Slides, and K2 together. We, that's the only match that we ever I lost when us three are playing because we all we, we'll just we'll just burst burst the shit out of people. Helmers beats host as well, especially back in the old days when, see, host isn't as bad of an advantage as it used to be. Host used to be a huge advantage. But now, it's still an advantage, but it's not like it was. Now, this dude was pissing me off. Instead of coming to try to help to the hill, I missed that shot, I guess. Instead of trying to help come to the hill, he was sitting up there lancering and being annoying. But... Yeah, host used to be a humongous advantage, like before title update six. It's still a big advantage, but at least they did. You know, they fixed it. No one can bridge host. Well, they say you can bridge host the zone a long way, which um I know how to do that. That's, you got to have a laptop. You got to get IP addresses. It's kind of the sophisticated way of doing it. Um, but it, it really ain't that hard once you know how to do it. But 
like I said, I don't, we, don't, we don't need hoes. We want you to have hoes. We don't want no excuses after the match. You can have hoes. Because that's the first thing somebody says whenever they get beat. You have hoes. Okay. Go host, when, when they say that, we say, okay, go host the lobby. No one wants to go host the lobby, though, whenever we, uh, we ask them to. Because they know it's bullshit. They wouldn't beat us. They wouldn't beat us if all five of them had hoes. I can care less about y'all. That dude just got shit on up there. High. Oh, look at me. Two piece that box. I got no. I ain't know if I was gonna kill him. Now that's why I dove back. I got no shame in two pieces in the box. Cause when you don't want to play against box one v one, them them songs uh, they are mean. But uh, look, like this video is coming to an end already too. Um, I didn't die this match as you can see. I point blank that dude around that corner. I couldn't believe I got the kill. Anyway, I'm not meleeing after round. I'm a host. Uh, remember to give the video a uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. If you thumb it down, let me know why. Um, ratings help the channel no matter what the rating is. And I'll catch y'all on the next post. Or like I like to say, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.